We may invite none but him, and we may seek refuge in none save in him. Also, we prostrate to him only, and when we slaughter an animal, we do it, mentioning his name only. All of the above can be summarized in one phrase. None has the right to be worshipped except Allah. This phrase is comprehensive of all forms of worship. Despair not handicaps. Do not prevent success. An interview was published in the Arabic daily Oka with a blind man named Mahmoud. He studied books of Arabic literature through the eyes of others. He would listen as others read to him books of history and commentaries on the classics. He used to have one of his friends read to him until three o'clock in the morning. Today he is considered to be a reference book in, the, in literature and history. A columnist, be patient with oppressors and wrongdoers for only five minutes. After a short time the whip will fall, the shackles will break, the prisoner will be released and the clouds will dissipate upon you. Then is only to be patient and to wait. An Arab poet wrote, How many calamities caused one to lose patience? But from them, the exit is with Allah. I once met with the Mufti of Albania, Albania in Riyadh. He told me of how the ruling communists imprisoned him with hard labour for twenty years while serving his sentence in prison. He was constantly subjected to torture. Torture. Darkness and hunger, he would secretly perform the five daily prayers in a corner of the washroom for fear of being caught. Through all of this he was patient and anticipated his reward with Allah until finally relief came. So they returned with grace and bounty from Allah. Consider Nelson Mandela, the one-time president of South Africa, who for, who for 27 years endured imprisonment. He sought re freedom for his people and the, he struggled to break off the shackles of tyranny and oppression. He was steadfast and firm, and he almost appeared to be seeking out death. As a result, he reached his goal and achieved his worldly glory. Allah the Exalted said, To them we shall pay in full the wages of their deeds therein. If you are suffering hardships, then surely they too are suffering hardships, as you are suffering. But you have a hope from Allah for the reward, paradise, that for which they hope they hope not if a wound and killing has touched you be sure a similar wound and killing has touched the others if you embrace islam there is no reason for you to be sad miserable are those souls that are ignorant of islam and that know islam but have not been guided to it today muslims need a slogan or advertisement to be broadcast worldwide for Islam is a great message that must be conveyed to the masses. The words of his slogan need to be clear, concise and inviting because the happiness of humanity as a whole lies in this true religion. And whoever seeks a religion other than Islam, it will never be accepted of him. A famous scholar to Islam settled in Munich, Germany, some years ago. Upon reaching the entrance of this city, he noticed a large place placed. Upon it was written, You don't know Yokohama tires. He later put, a si put up a sign beside it, and it was just as large. He wrote on it, You don't know Islam. If you wish to know about it, call us at this number. There was an inundation of calls from native Germans. In one year alone, 
Thousands of people accepted Islam at this man's hands. He also established a mosque, an Islamic center, and a school. Most human beings are confused and are in dire need of this great religion. They, great religion, they need Islam to, so that a peaceful and serene life can take the place of the chaotic one that they are presently leading. Wherewith Allah guides all those who seek his good pleasure to ways of peace, and he brings them out of darkness by his will unto light and guides them to a straight path, straight way, Islamic monotheism. A worshipper who was found living in a remote area and who had who never had prior to con prior contact with other men said i never thought that anyone in the world worshiped other than allah but few of my slaves are grateful and if you obey most of those on earth they will mislead you for mislead you far away from allah's path and most of mankind will not believe even if you desire it eagerly one scholar informed me that during the time when Sudan was a, was a colony under the British Empire, a desert nomad came to the capital city, Khartoum. When he saw a British policeman walking in the centre of the city, he asked a passerby, Who is that? He was told that the man was a foreign policeman and that he was a disbeliever. The nomad asked, A disbeliever in what? A disbeliever in Allah was the reply, living in the desert for so long this man's inborn nature, in, unspoiled by evil ideas, had remained intact, and so when he heard something so absurd, absurd, it made him astonished and sick. He said, and does anyone disbelieve in Allah? He then grabbed hold of his stomach and vomited from sheer disgust at what he heard. What is the matter with them, that they d believe not? Then by the Lord of the heaven and the earth it is the truth. What has been promised to you, just as it is the truth that you can speak? One should think well of his Lord, and should seek his favour and mercy. In an authentic hadith, the Prophet said that our Lord laughs after hearing his after hearing this, a desert bed Bedouin said, We are not bereft of a Lord who laughs well, and he it is who sends down the rain after they have despaired. Surely Allah's mercy is ever near unto the good doers. Yes, certainly the help of Allah is near. By reading the bi biographies of successful people, one finds that they have certain things in common, whether it is in their background, their qualities, or the circumstances that surrounded their success. Here are some of the conclusions I arrived at after having read some of their biographies. A, a person's value is based on the good he does. This is saying of Ali, may Allah be pleased with him. And it means that a person's knowledge, character, worship, and generosity are the yardsticks by which we measure his worth. And verily, a believing slave is better than a free mushrik, idolater, even though he pleases you. One's net status for this life and for the hereafter depends on his determination, striving and sacrifice. And if they had intended to march out, certainly they would have made some preparation for it.